Hello everybody and welcome to another showcase video for Jurassic World Evolution 2 where today, well actually in the last video we did the aquatics and now we're moving away from the cruel seas into the giants of the skies or even some of the midgets of the skies, you know, we, we like to have variety you see. So as you can see we have all of the avian species ready to go and also over here too. And, as you can see, we also have um, dinosaurs being made, which, hopefully, as long as it works, we will have some of these guys break out and see what will happen if they interact. Because I know with certain dinosaurs and pterosaurs, they can interact. Like, I know raptors can pounce on them if they get too low, but I don't know if um, large carnivores such as this Giganotosaurus will be able to do any harm to the pterosaurs. But, I think we are going to start with the classic, wherever it is, is this one, it? Yes, this is the Pteranodon, which we are going to start all the way at the first, which is right here. Ooh, whoa, he is quite a dark Pteranodon. And, also guys, um, like the previous episode, there is a little bit of a glitch where they won't come out of the hatcheries yet. I don't know if it's going to be fixed soon, but Frontier have said that they will try and fix it, and oh my god, the wings flapping are very loud. But, we'll, we can still look at them, we just can't see them coming out, which is a little unfortunate. Maybe we will be able to do that when we do all the dinosaurs in a showcase video. Who knows? But, as you can see, we got a lovely orange underbelly, well, orange underwing, and a dark, oh god, stay still, buddy. A sort of silvery gray for the top and oh god we're going through and he is glitching he is glitch there you go finally he can land sure he's in the shadow but it's fine so as you can see the wing as I was trying to say the wings on the bottom are a very nice orange actually and oh my god it's so weird doing this video after watching the Dominion prologue cuz you think these guys are big cuz like one of these is as big as three people but compared to a Quetzal they're a bird, but oh uh, well. All right, next one. Ooh, is a very very green one with a sort of yellowish green, like sort of a lemony color on the bottom of the wings. And is he sleep? Oh yeah, he is sleeping. Aww. Well, I I don't think we should disturb him anymore. We got a good look at him. Let's um, let's move on to this guy who is in the shadow, but appears to be an orange one on both. Yep, he's definitely an orange, like a lighter orange in certain spots. Oh my god. I know a lot of people don't like the design of the Jurassic World ones, but I think they look cool. Oh, wait, oh, there's Trendon swooping in from above, trying to attack us. But, you know, I like this one. This orange is kind of a little bit dull, but I think it if it had something more to pop to it, like maybe a brighter or darker orange on the face, maybe it would work a bit more. Oh, like this one, actually, the one that was above us. This is a better version of that one. So, like, you could count this one as the male version, and this one is, like, a female. That actually works really well together. And there's no pattern on them, even, so still works. But, ooh. Ooh, that is an interesting one. Oh, with a dark red on the... Well, with an orangish red on the bottom of the wings. And sort of a greenish color on the back, but then the wings are sort of a beige. I don't know how... F those colors... You don't think they'd work... Whoa, that's a lot of colors here. You don't think these colors would work together, but they actually do really well. Oh, God. They're phasing through each other. Number six, who is... Ooh, another green one, it seems. Except this one seems to be a darker green. So they've got a lot of... They basically got two versions of each. Which one's this? I think this is the mangrove or... What is this one? Wait, nope. Nope, I can't tell which one this is. But, man, this one is very interesting. A weird green... Ooh, wait, the wings aren't green. No, they're a... They're an orange. Interesting. And he really fits with the trees. Oh, now we got another charcoal-looking one, it seems. Very, very interesting, but looks the same as the other one, basically, except the beige under the wings is a lot lighter. Oh, and now we got a very, very red one. That 
This is basically so far the closest to the Jurassic World ones, but damn, that looks like he's just been bleeding all day and just is drying up. But I, I like it. Oh my god, up close and personal, that's not a friendly face. And oh, we got another one sleeping. Shh, shh, we'll need to be quiet for him. It's a another greenish yellow one, similar to the other one that we saw sleeping, but more yellow than green. Very interesting, we'll let him sleep. And, oh, and the final one that's sleeping. Oh, he's awake, sorry, we woke, we woke him up. Unbelievable, guys, how rude of us. But he's got a nice pinkish color to him. Oh, God, he phased partially through the floor. And are these guys comfortable? Yes, they are. So we'll need to um, get them uncomfortable, of course, when we want them to break out. But that is the Pteranodons. And next up is wherever they are. They should be. They are right over here. The Dimorphodon, which... Hold on. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's start with this sleeping guy who's kind of, you know, using the force, you see. He's using the force for half his body, but it's a nice green with a bit of orange, very subtle, very smooth, and that is a long tail. Damn, the tail's lo like twice as long as his body. That's strange. That is strange. Ooh. Aw, oh, man, you're flying away. I, I want to see you eating. But, ooh, that is a nice... That is a nice orange with green. That That is already my favorite of all these skins so far. But it could be changed. Ooh. Ooh, this is the one we saw in one of the species in the species field guide, I'm pretty sure. The one that we got a close-up of. That blue is... That's a nice blue, but I don't like the, um... I, I don't like the little blue in between the orange and the light blue, actually. It kind of seems too purple-like, I think. But it's, it still works, just... What, oh, let's see him eat. Oh god, he dunks his full head and gets a little tiny fish. I mean, those fish in there are as big as him, so I don't think he'd be able to swallow it. Alright, next one. Ooh, a more orange-brown one today. Very, very nice, and he was just on the little... Also, yeah, guys, in case you don't know, these guys can land on those scenery items. Well, most of them, I'm pretty sure. I don't think all of them, but at least I know those ones they can, like the signs and all that, they can. Ooh, another one eating. Another orangey green one today, followed up by, ooh, another one using the force for his entire body, it seems. But this one is a very dark one, a sort of charcoaly green, actually. There's a hint of green on it, and then the orange wings, of course. Very signature to the Dimorphodon. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, this might be my favorite. That is green on the top. Orange, yet yeah, orange yellow on the bottom. That one really, that pops. Damn, that is, that is a really good one. Oh, there we go. He's landing again. Is he using the force? Yes, he is. They gotta align that a bit better, unfortunately. But you know, what's wrong with seeing them being worthy of the force? Maybe they got a high midichlorian count. Oh, stupid Mc. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's my favorite. There you go. That orange and blue. There it is. Done. Over. Dimorphodon's done. That's my favorite. Let's go on to the next one, which is, uh, over here, the Ceratactylus, which, interestingly for you guys, if you didn't know, oh yeah, these guys got 12 skins, damn. So, the interesting thing is that this is actually the first pterosaur we ever got in the Jurassic Park franchise. Not Pteranodon, not Dimorphodon, not Quetzalcoatlus, no. It was this guy in the very first novel, actually. And there were six of them, I believe. With one of them actually stealing um, Lexa's baseball glove and stuff and that. And this one, you know, I like the design, but the color on this one is very boring so I'm not gonna look on it too long but this one if we can get closer is a little bit better it seems a bit more he seems very wrinkly on the wings if you look at that and he kind of looks like he's just like oh for gosh sake stop looking at me please I like him but he's kind of a little weird look oh and oh now we're getting interesting a white look uh, can we get closer please Okay, nope, but we can't... Oh, there we go. We're getting closer. It is a white qu uh, Ceredactyl. I'm so used to saying Quetzalcoatlus lately because I've been doing a bunch of videos on it. God damn it. Ooh, oh, whoa. That was a weird call, that little... Okay, so a nice white one. What do we have here? Ooh. A, 
a more sort of sandy beige one, it seems, with a darker body, it seems. They work together. It seems to me Ceredactyl's got more of the duller colors to him, unlike the other, t t unlike Pterodon and definitely unlike Dimorphodon. Dimorphodon really pops. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see what I mean? These colors, like on Dimorphodon, would be exploding. These ones just seem more of the smooth colors, and it works. Just, I think, I'd like one that really is more brightly and popping. Nope, I was going to say, like, probably like that orange one, except maybe just a little bit more brighter on the wings. And this one is a interesting, it's a reverse of the previous one, I'm pretty sure. Let's look at it. Yeah, except instead of the orange wings, it's now the white body. I like it. Very opposite. And this one... A little similar to the first one, don't really like it. And there's the one that I really like, the or the orange oh he's taking flight. Da 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 Giants of the Sky should be playing soon. Oh look at him. Well actually no, we'll need to go to Geostarbergia or Trophy and I guess. Oh, and he's going for a landing site. And he's going to get a fish in Oh whoa, that green one. Which one is that? Well this is the next one, the blue one, which I like that blue actually. That's a nice blue. It's Oh my god, there's so many pterodactyls here. It's an army. Wait, which one are we on? I, I, oh, we're on the favorite of mine. The green. That green is really. That's a really nice green. And that. And that beige is. Really actually fits with it. I really. That's. That's contender for number one for pterodactyls. Oh, and here's. Oh no, this is the pattern version. So. So this is what it looks like with a pattern, which. Pretty sure I forgot to do that for the other ones, but you can see the wings have a pattern on it, but if we go back to the other one, no pattern on the wings. So this is um, with no pattern, and this is, oh god, with a pattern. So very, very nice. And that's it for the Ceridactyls? Yes, it is. So I think it's time we move on to what is... Have we done these guys? Oh, the one that is named after a dead tribal leader's daughter which um that that's a very nice n reason for your name i don't think the daughter would agree being used for that because oh my god this thing is really freaky with those teeth but seriously merodactylus is named after a tribal leader's daughter well dead daughter which ugh, kind of creepy and so is this guy, and ooh, that is a nice orange and red. I actually think it, that one really works for a start. <clears throat> ooh, another sort of light-colored one with a sort of baby green, it seems, or baby teal, with a sort of pinkish beige, or more of a peach color, actually. I don't know. They don't really sit well together for that one. Ooh, we got a, ooh, we got a very yellow one. Oh, my God, he's getting loud. And dangerous. Oh, wait. Okay, this one seems similar to the... Not the previous one, but the one before that. With the wings being a peachy color, but more of a darker skin. So it, work, it works better, actually, for this guy, I think. Then let's... Oh, God, they're all in... Oh, this one's... That's an... The greens on these... On the pterosaurs are really good, actually. Like, so far, all of my favorites have been, like, with green on them so far. Except for the pteranodon, so... Yeah, that's really interesting, and, oh god, can we get closer? Nope. Okay, we'll have to move to someone else. Ooh, another green one, but more green on the wings and a darker green on the body. On the rest of the body. That, that actually looks better than the other green, actually. More duller, which, normally I don't like it when it's too dull, but this is a nice balance, actually. And, oh god, he's creepy, he's looking at me. Ooh, whoa, that's a purple, a sort of baby pink... Baby purple and a skin color, peach color, on the wings. I gotta say, that one's a bold one. I think it, I do think it works, but, you know, it's kind of a little strange. Like, that purple color is just, it's weird, but I actually like it. And then we, oh, we got another green one with a orange wing this time, and... A brighter green, so we got three green ones for the Maradactylus. Very interesting. Oh, I got another one. Ooh, this one seems to be a blue with orange wings. I mean, it looks like a blue, which... Okay, I actually think this 
why is it always like the last ones that are my favorite? Okay, this it's either this one or the second green one that we saw from my favorite. Let's see if him in the lighting. Can you get in the lighting? Oh yeah, this one's a little bit higher. I think this one's the good one. But let's go on to the Tapijara, which is oh god, is is he dead? Oh no, he's not dead. I thought he was dead, and I was like, what the hell? Oh my god, here is the little midget, the Tapijara, and that, okay, well, first of all, he's phasing through some of the plants, and also the plants are so tall compared to him, he's like, I, I'm not actually here, I'm just a plant. Oh my god, you could lose him, just like, angle it right, like, uh, stay still, I'm trying to hide you, like, just angle it right there, when he's straight up, you'll never see him, but, oh my god, that's a nice... That's a nice pattern, actually. Very smooth. Oh, God. Ooh, that is an in an interesting blue highlight on him. Very, very strange, but I don't know. The other, the dull colors don't really help it stand out. Next one. Oh, God, we won't even be able to see this one. Uh, seems to be a yellow with green on the top. That one looks really good. I mean, it'd look good if we could actually see him, but he's hiding in the bush. Raptors will never find him. Ooh, we got... Uh, don't tell me you're glitched. Yep, I think this one... Oh, nope. He, I think he's looking for a place to land or something. But... <clears throat> oh, he's going down for a drink, I think. Yep, he is. And this one, a dull brown with a dull orange. So, I think... That one's okay. Could be a little bit better. Ooh, a very nice green. A light green and a dark green mixed with a bit of... Oh, no, it's it's a yellowish green on the underbelly. That's... Yep, another green is winning it for me. God, pterosaurs are... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is some purple if I've seen it before. And... Okay, I really like that purple. That purple on that green, you don't think it'd work, but... I actually like it. I can't believe I'm saying I thought that looks you think it looked terrible, but no. It actually looks really good. And then next oh another greenish one. Not really good. Then oh another another green one. There's a lot of greens for you, Tappy Jara. And this one's a yellow underbelly, and you're looking for a place to land, I assume. Interesting. But the final one, what's the final one? Ooh, a red one, which I'm pretty sure this was in the little short that they did for five days towards. I'm pretty sure I did a little thing for that. And yeah, this is the one from that, which, gotta say, like the red. And is there any more? Oh, there is another one. Ooh, whoa, that blue and pink. Blue and pink. And it's sort of a baby blue, I think, like similar to the Lego blue from Fallen Kingdom sets. Interesting. Oh, he missed, he missed a fishy. And is that it? Oh, yep, there it is. That is the Tappy Jaras, which... Oh, is this Trophy Nagus? Yes, it is. When we gotta go to number one first, which... How is he? Is he the best? Is he the worst? I don't know. And... He's alright. Sort of a plain color. Just a beige. Nothing too special. But we have a... Ooh, a white color. Trophy Anagus. I'm pretty sure this is the one I made in my campaign, which I think... Well, actually, I didn't make it. I rescued it, but close enough. Oh, my God. It really does look like the... Uh, what's it called? Um, The one from Walking with the Dinosaurs. Um, oh, I forget. Ornithochirus. That's the name. It really does look like Ornithochirus, with some changes, of course, like the... The beak is a bit taller and stuff, and it's definitely smaller, but man, I really do like- Oh, yep, yeah, we gotta leave him. He's sleeping. Let's take- let's take a look. Ooh, another beigey one. Not- not too much changes, unfortunately, so we're just gonna leave him alone and take a look at- Ooh, a sort of light gr a light greenish blue or something? I can't really tell because he's in the shadow. There we go. Yeah, it's more of the green- it's sort of a- mossy green it seems with a nice underbelly that one looks good especially with the wooden brown for the beak very nice but that blue one that was up there ooh, 
Ooh, another... Ooh, these two are having a nap. Oh, we woke him up. God damn it. We're not very nice to these guys, are we? No wonder they're gonna kill us after. A nice green in the... I don't think the brown works on this green. So, actually, we've got our first green that's not really working. I think the brown is a bit too... Um... Dark brown. Maybe if it was a lighter brown, it'd look better. Oh, that blue one. That one's looking promising. And... Ooh, and so is this one, a dark blue with a sort of pink peach underbelly and that brown, which I like how it's showing it's fading into the snout a little bit. I like that one's looking like my favorite. Apart from that light blue one that we saw, wherever that is, ooh, a dark brown that really fits well with the brown beak. Another contender, I like him. And then what's this one? Ooh, another green. Oh, this one's worse than the other green one, like... This green's too, mu too um, grassy in my opinion. The brown doesn't work with that one. Ooh, this one's a, this one's actually a bit better. Like you know, it's a smoother green, and you think I'd be complaining, but no, it actually fits well because of how the beak works. So, I, I can accept it. Ooh, another, another beigey one, an orange beige, and then ooh, is that the blue one? Yeah, that's the blue one. Let's take a look. How's the under... Oh, yeah, that is a nice one. This one is probably my favorite. Or the dark blue one that we saw earlier. And then let's see. What's this? Oh, this is the pattern version, which, as you can see, the little orange-yellow bits on the wings and stuff, and also on the crest, are the pattern. So this is what it looks like with a pattern. And then if we go here, that is it without a pattern. So, very nice, very subtle. And I think, did we do all these ones? Yes, we did, which means we just have the G the biggest one, I mean, for now, until we get F Dominion DLC, the Geostabergia, which is just really cool, actually. I was going to say, he shouldn't be standing there, but no, there's actually glass there. I just forgot about it. And this one, a nice orn a nice orange on the crest with a yellowish orange for the rest of the body. Very interesting. Ooh, another, ooh, uh, brown with a orange-yellow. Very interesting. What about, oh, this is the one that was beside it. So, a yellow with a bit of brown. Mmm, I don't know. That brown doesn't really sit well with it. It just seems too light and stuff. I think that if the brown was a little bit darker, this one would work a lot more. And this, like, like this brown. If this brown was on the yellow one here, that would look much better. But, you know, this one actually works a lot better. Like, it has a bit, bits of, um, lighter brown. So it sort of pops out in certain areas of its body. So, that works. Very nice. Ooh, a paler one. A, a mossy green with a pale body. Inter oh god, they are making nightmares. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that one over there? That blue one? God, blue is now starting to take control. Green is... Green had to start. Blue's gonna end it. But... Ooh, maybe not. Green's fighting back with this green and orange one. And he's making freaky sounds, guys. Don't... Let's not say with him. He's scaring us. And we got one that is fully doing the force yet again. And it is a mossy green... Okay, sorry for that weird cut. Something went wrong with the recording, but I just checked. It's still good. I don't have to restart this whole video. Oh, thank God. I was gonna panic and I was like, God damn it, not again. Because this happened with um, my Jurassic Park Chaos Theory. Which, where was I? Oh, yes, this lime green. That's an interesting green, actually. I don't know. I I'll have to get back to that one. I think it works. It's a little strange. Ooh, another green, but a lighter green than the other one. And... This one, eh, not really. The yellow on the beak needs to be... I'd say it actually has to be um, more bold. Like a bolder yellow, you know, like a golden yellow sort of that. It's a little too light for this green, I think. Oh, there we go. There's the golden peak. Oh my god, that... Yep, yep, found my favorite. Sorry, we're gonna be loud for you while you're sleeping, Geostabergia. That is gold. That is heaven. That is number one. Done. That is the best skin that we've seen all day for the pterosaurs. Look at that gr blue and that yellow. It just looks so good. It kind of reminds me of a pelican, actually.
I, I, I don't know how I feel about that now. Oh, what's this? Oh, come on. Get away from the forest so we can get closer. We need to get closer to you, my dear. Ooh, a very dark one. Ace. They got a lot of dark ones, the, the Geostabergia. I like it. This one actually works w well, actually. And, you know, I like how the pink of the mouth, because, like, you know, it doesn't have, like, a proper mouth. It's just a beak. I like how the pink is sort of seeping through as if it's like, oh, I can't fully close my mouth. Oh, and there's a drone. There's a drone. It's Manticore. Run. Uh, why do they do... Hey, 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 don't break the fourth wall, don't look at camera, especially you, Geostabergia. Here, we'll look this way and you'll be fine. No, 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 you go there. Oh my god, that is, if he turned his head one more time, I'd be like, this game's alive. Okay, so, oh, yep, he, 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 you tried it, mister, you ain't looking at the camera. We're gonna cut the camera away. And do we have one more for this? Oh, we don't. Did we not put a pattern? Hold on, hold on, we should have a pattern for this guy. Let's see. What's it? Oh, wait. Oh, it's working. Oh, I forgot some of them. Yeah, I had to stop because I had to go to work. Right. Okay, so we do have... And the hatchery's working. Yes. For oh, God. Okay, guys. Sorry for the cut there, but... I just, um, had a little issue with, um, YouTube again, and, well, the kind of didn't go too well, so, basically what ha what you guys missed was I was showing off the last few Geostabergia, and also, guys, the hatcheries are working, in fact, now, but I'm not gonna spend time working on that, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into sand into sandbox settings and we are going to make these guys annoyed. Oh wait, no, it already is annoyed, so we'll just, um, you know, basically, uh, nope, we don't need to transport. We need to first destroy the extras that hold that as long as, nope, does this one hold? Does this one? What about that one? That one? Nope. What about this one? There we go. We're gonna annoy the dinosaurs to the point that they will want to break out. So, nope. We need to get rid of those trees. Oh, hello, Ms. Mu. Hi. And then we need to make sure... We want to make sure that they do have a reason to break out. Because we want to showcase them, you know, attacking people and also causing chaos. I'm an agent of chaos, you see. I had to do it, guys. It was right there. And, well... Should we destroy their feeder? I think we should. We should go that extra mile. Just, you know, speed up the pace of it. That way we can make sure that they will want to break out. We'll just get rid of this. Oh, and also that. And then, of course, I know you guys have sand in here, so we'll just help you out in getting annoyed by taking it away. How's that sound? Are you okay with that? Well, if not, you're still losing your sand. And then we need to get rid of your trees. And then... Oh, wait, no, we're adding more, so... I don't know, would that annoy them more? Hmm, maybe. Oh, the drone! The drone's attacking! It's probably saying, uh, why are you making them annoyed? They're gonna break out. That's the point, my dear. We want them to break out. Or, you know, just at least one of the pterosaur species. Uh, I think they are gl- I think they're all glitched. Yep, they're all glitched because they wanted to get food. Damn it. Okay, that didn't work out as planned. But we'll just, you know, keep up with the destroying of the trees. All the way through. And then destroy it even more. And then also, you know. Come on, has no one broken out yet? Even the Geostabergia, the one that's like the most aggressive and angry of them all. Like, they should be annoyed. There's so many of them in here. Like, let's take a look. Are, are they you all glitched? Well, he's definitely glitched. Look at him. He should be diving himself to the ground. Oh, there we go. He's back. Now, how are you guys? Okay, so what do you... You still have enough open space. We'll need to get rid of that. We'll need to help you guys get annoyed. That's what we're here for. 
Helping you guys basically get pissed off with me. Nope. Can we destroy this one? No. What about this one? No. No, that one. This one? No. What about... Ah, damn it. We can't cut the middleman out. Okay. Really? How can we not destroy this one? There's no one there. There we go. Ha! Ah. What about this one? Score. Okay. They have got... I mean, these guys have definitely got to get annoyed. They're probably like, wait, where's my... You're still not annoyed. I mean, you're sleeping and you're using the force, so you must be very calm. Okay, guys, I have no idea what happened, but one of our pterosaurs has broken out, and it is the Ceratactylus, it seems, which I don't know how he's feeling, but he is not in a safe spot, I might say, because uh, these guys are with him. Oh my god, look how tiny he is in comparison. Like, I would be screaming Mad George out of there, like... Because, like, you can't even see them. It's like, where are they? Where are they? Then suddenly, da 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 they just pop out and just pounce on them. Like, they should be able to do that. But are any other ones out? No? Oh, for gosh sakes. I don't know what it is, but all of them are at 100%. Even though if you look at them, let's just say this guy, he's got everything annoyed about him. Populations, um... Well, fine, apparently, but he's got area not big enough, no water, not enough water, not enough rock, not enough open space, not enough fish. Just madness. And the only one that's somehow broken out, glitched out. Oh, and I think he's already glitched. Are you okay, sir? Nope. He's going crazy, but is he going to find someone? Is he going to target someone? Or is someone else going to glitch out somehow? Like, come on. There's a hundred Geos Dembergias here, but they can't break out. Here, let's, um... We'll try a trick. Well, no, we don't need to change that. We'll just make a bunch of these guys. Make a bunch more. Or, no, 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 we'll do the cohabitation issue. That should get them annoyed. We'll do a uh, trophy and I guess. Short-lived, thirsty, blah, blah, blah. You'll be fine. Then you, there you go. And we'll just keep an eye on you, unless you're going to... Are you going for the other Giga or something? He's like, uh, where do I land? There's these big things here. Like, you gotta run out of stamina. You're gonna drop soon. Oh, oh, this just looks cool. Just watching them, like, you know, fly around and not be bothered. Oh, a dinosaur thr Oh, it's you. It's still you. But you're not threatening any people. You're just landing on this again. Oh, Geostabergia is completed. Let's make you. Oh, we only have one. Okay, well, that should be enough. Alright, then we will demolish this one. And we just need to keep them annoyed long enough to break out, you know. Shouldn't be long. Okay, is anyone gonna come out? Like, any of you guys? Trophy and I guess. No. Like, okay, require status check. That's good. Oh, we need to, we need to make this, and then we need to get the hatchery out, because I think that's why they're being classified as fine. Okay, something's going on with the aloe. Nope, nothing. You're, you're a threat to people, but you're not... Attacking anyone? Why ain't you attacking someone? Oops, speaking of which, Trophy Nagus is ready to go. Oh, we only got we only got one of each. Wow. Seems reasonable. Alright, there you go. Uh, I was so happy. Okay, if you don't do anything soon, guys. I'm gonna have to end. Oh wait, no, he's coming closer. And oh, they've started to set up. Oh, nope, he's turning around. God damn it! Stop going around. Fine. 
we're going to have no choice because you like this thing so gosh darn much, we're demolishing it. Now go and find some people who attack, please. Or attack a dinosaur, or get attacked by a dinosaur. Do something. You're supposed to break out and attack people, damn it. Ugh. These employees of mine, they just don't like to work when they're told to. Ah, there we go. He's going after someone, I think. He's he's eyeing them. Are you serious? Are you going for the Allosauruses now? Don't tell me you're going for the Allosaurus. Don't, I think he's even more dangerous. Is he going? Don't you dare turn that. Yep, he is. Okay, we've got to destroy them all. They just, you are not landing on those. Either land on the ground or land somewhere else. Let's see, where is he going to go next? He's like, oh, fine, I'll go this. They are drawn to them. Come on. Oh, he's going on the main street. I'm pretty sure I did a little path design there, so he might land towards that. So if he gets closer to people, then... Oh, nope. Is he seriously... Come on, you should be able to go and eat those guys. Or at least maybe bite one of them. So much for being a threat, mister. And we'll just hold that. Your stamina should be gone now. Oh, you think... Oh, the Struthi's feeling it. Now where are you going? Hmm? Ah, is he going for the scenery opening? Which, guys, you can get a little discount. Look at it. Which, I'm thinking about doing a video on, like, how to use these for enclosures. Maybe. Yep, he's landing on them. Oh, for gosh sakes. God damn it, this is not for you to land on. You are supposed to attack those people, damn it. Or is he planning on waiting for them to try and come back? Is anyone else breaking out yet? No? Oh, for gosh sakes, come on, hurry up. Okay, speed up this. Because, for gosh sakes, no one is breaking out. Why? 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 Requires status check. They're probably all annoyed because they got a giant Geostabergia in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got someone else who just glitched out. Uh, another Geostabergia. Okay, so that's how he broke out. He just glitched out because of, it was too fast. I see. Now just release this one. Okay, so where is this guy going? Now that's the question. Can he go after someone? Well, if there's any people around. Oh, wait. Oh, oh there he goes. He's going lower. Oh, nope. He's going up. Nope, nope. Get lower. We need you to get someone. He's going crazy. He's he's flying upside down. He's performing some circus level freak show. Okay, come on. Three are on a rampage. Where's the third? Oh wait, what? Oh, another Geostabergia got out. Damn, we got three. We got three dinosaurs out. I mean, pterosaurs. Oh wait, he's going down. He's taking a. Oh, he's going risky. He could get rammed by a Draco Rex. Is he going to health? Why is your health low? Are you hungry or something? Yeah, there's no way you can, um... Just eat someone! Oh, wait, where's this one going? Did he kill someone? Nope. Damn it. Oh, he's sick? Well... Get angry about it. Get rabies or something. Oh, he's coming here too? Oh, for gosh sakes. They're just like, you know, we'll take... He hasn't even moved. Is he sleeping? He's sleeping. Unbelievable, this guy. Yeah, yeah, medical scan, whatever. We need them to break out and kill people, damn it. Hold on. Are they not able to? Oh, that, that's why I had it on. Okay, guys, I just figured out I'm a complete idiot. These guys all would have broken out if, 
if I had have put it, you know, so that dinosaur comfort was on. Okay, so I'm a moron. I see. That's how it is. You're going to play that game. I'm pretty sure I never set that up, but let, let's just take a look. I want the dinosaurs comfortable. Do you? No, I don't, Woo. I want them all to break out and cause a rampage. At least three of them managed to. But let's um, test out these two. You're not gonna... Okay, we're glitched on that. Seriously, we're glitched on that again? Maybe it's just too small. Oh, wait, what? Oh, another one bursted out somewhere. Oh, and no, are we getting some break... Okay, someone's got to have broken out. What's going on? Come. F oh, there we go. He's going for it. Da -da -da. Come on, now someone please attack someone. They've taken control of the land. They've got to just, you know... Go for someone over here, or, you know, go for something that can cause a fight or something. Something, please, anything. Only the Geosnobergias have caused trouble. I mean, they're not actually causing trouble. Oh, wait, 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 where's the... Where the heck are they? Where the hell are you? I can't even see you. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, ow. Okay, Damn! Merodactylus just absolutely annihilated him! D did you glitch again? Yep, he is glitched. He's kind of upside down and going... There we go, he's fixed. Uh, okay, so we got a Tappy Jar out who's just, you know, glitched over by the mountains of, uh... Uh, Canada. I don't know. What what are we calling these mountains? The mountains of Tapajara. Of, um, Tapajev. We'll call... We'll call this one Tappa Jeff. Why Tappa Jeff? I don't know, because he's claimed Tappa Jeff. There you go. There we go. Tappa Jeff. This is his mountain range. He has claimed it for himself, which actually, I'm thinking about doing a video, guys, like t how to build, den make 10 different biomes for enclosures. Maybe we should do... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pteranodon is now out. Did they finally break out? Oh my god, will they stop just glitching out and just actually break out? Oh, he's lonely. He's brokenhearted. Now go and put your rage somewhere else and attack those people right there. Over there. Come on, get them. He's coming. You're close. You're close, sir. You're even close, sir. Come on, just get someone, please. Or get get a dinosaur. We need to end the video and get by you getting someone. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. The Gallimimus are getting crazy, and the Dracos are getting... They're not even bothered. <gasps> Is he going... Oh, wait, he's phasing through. He, he's... He's going... <laughs> he was phasing through the ground. Come on, you, you're almost there. You can get him. You can get her. Get her. Come on. Oh, no, you're phasing through the ground again. Come on. Come on. Rise. Rise, my pretty. Oh, storm warning. Can we get them annoyed enough? Come on, just go and get them. Don't face through the ground again. Just go to the Tapajif's location and get those people. He's trying to, but he's but the ground is trying to pull him down to hell or something. I don't know which is worse. Staying up here where it's cold or going down to hell. Get out of hell, please. Come on. You're at the... Oh, get, oh dear. Oh, t Tapajar Jeff. Or Tappa Jeff, actually. Tappa Jeff has come to greet him to his mountain range. Oh god, it's turned, uh... Requires status check. Yeah, he's fine, he's fine. Are we seriously not getting anything? Oh, for Christ's sakes, will someone please just go for anybody? Wait, what? Oh, oh, Allosaurus was almost going to get a Geostobergia, but the Geo got away. Oh, wait, no, that's a Ceridactylus. Never mind. Okay, so basically that whole breakout thing was kind of a failure, it seems, because, well, no one's breaking out. And, oh my god, if you guys don't stop sitting there and sleeping, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Now, where's Tyrandon? Okay, we'll take control of you. So... We're just going to slow down the speed. We are going to end this video here, guys. You know, we tried having them break out and kill stuff, but apparently, even though they can attack stuff, they they just don't want to, it seems. I don't know what it is, 
I know they can. I have seen them attack stuff. Wait. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna... Oh my god, I thought you were about to go and attack him, and I was gonna be like, Really? Just as soon as I leave? But nope, my hopes and dreams were just cut away from me again. But if you've enjoyed this Tyranid Pterosaur Showcase... I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'm so... I'm watching you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, join the hunt for more content, and until next time, he'll see you later. Bye bye